Assalamu alaikum, I'm Carlson. Welcome to my official YouTube channel and Facebook page. So friends, today we're gonna learn about geometry part seven. These new angles. About these two angles and it's new is vertically opposite angles. And what's new is vertically opposite angles. Now, I'll let's start with complementary angle. Okay, so now complementary angle is just this or this, not this. This is just an adjacent angle. Okay, now I'll draw a bigger one for you. Okay, ah, uh, here we go. Now next, I'll go to the and here we have our next. Now we have a right angle. This time I'm gonna use a little like this arc, not the special square symbol, okay? And we'll cut this with another line that's called the common arm. Now I'll name it C. This point here is called C. Okay, now I'll use this again. Okay, let me guess, let me see. Let me see this, okay. It's close to 50. I mean, close to what? 30. Close to 30. So, th close to 30, okay. And it's 90 degree, okay. Now I know what the degrees are. Okay, so this is 30 degrees, and this will be 60 degrees then. Okay, it's almost like that. No problem if it's a little bit like that. It's okay. You can correct it if you want. So now, this and this combine to get 90 degree, which is our right angle. So this right angle, now, this it has two angles, must two angles. Do you know why? Because adjacent angles must have two angles. Okay, so now let me say that this A angle AOC, uh, this is a horizontal, I mean vertical, and this, the vertical, echo, 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 vertical, echo, is 40 degree, um, yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, it's 60 degrees. And plus this COB, Cobb. Uh, what a name is Cobb? Equals to 30 degrees. And then equals to a angle AOB, which is our big, larger, then this two combine make combine to form this big stuff which is called a right angle and this complementary this is a complementary angle this is a complementary angle this angles are complementary angles which makes this whole right angle okay so now this is equal to 90 degrees there we go. Now we understood what's about this and must be 90 degrees. Remember about this. Or you can say, I don't know. You can say this is 90 degree or a right angle. Okay, it doesn't have any changes. But one thing, acute angle doesn't have adjacent angles but it has but it can't be supplementary angle one 
because it's going to different position it so acute angle can be 45 degrees 46 degrees like that and obtuse angle to and reflex angle they are also different positions they stay at different positions yeah okay now let me draw the supplementary okay i'm not going to show you what's that okay let me see let me see okay now i'll draw this line giant huh it's opposite direction it looks opposite direction one is going right one's going left this is the base this is the left one which is conducts the degree okay now this is a and this is b and don't forget about this common vertex without this no angles but this is kind of funny yeah i you know you know about this now we'll cut this and the third line which is kind of familiar right we have two more smaller let me add this c okay oh i guess i just named this d so it doesn't make get mixed up okay so now i'll use this portrait or thingy again if i okay so this is 125 degrees and this was 55 degrees okay now five and five is ten two and seven 25 and 5 55 is 80 and one left over 180 makes a supplementary angle how i'll show you my marker fell okay now this angle aod aod angle aod okay this is the angle aod now this angle is equal to 50 well i forgot about this i'm not a little bit fast okay so now d o b okay angle d o b is equal to 125 degrees okay okay now equals to a o b okay okay now this is a o b and the common arm is d d o b and must two angles okay oh this was 55 oh i forgot about it now equals and this is horizontal equal remember i mean vertical okay so now this equals to 180 degrees now do you understand about adjacent angles this is the end of adjacent angles goodbye adjacent angles ha we know about adjacent angles, but not goodbye for him. After, I don't know. Okay, so now hello to vertically opposite angle. And goodbye to complementary and supplementary angle. Okay. Okay, so did you understand about complementary and supplementary angle? Do you? Vertically opposite angle. Okay. Okay, now I am gonna draw this for you. Not for anybody else, okay? Now first I'll name them, then I'll, you know, draw the arcs. First I'll name them. And this cross with this intersect point. This intersect point is called an intersection they cross at this point right here this right here a e c 
opposite angle is D or EB okay so I'll write it for you A E C A angle A C is opposite Oppo yeah Oppo is a phone company and you know Oppo is a pro phone okay never mind that it has four cameras well expert my father has it it's mine too oppo opposite 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 angle opposite angle is a i mean where d e b okay d e b now the intersection's name is e so remember this is also called the common vertex or the intersection where they cross okay i'll say intersection and i won't say vertical i mean vertex okay now let's talk about this two now a e d is also same as these two okay so they have to point like straight angle which they go to opposite directions which like left right left opposite is right now left's opposite is up up's opposite is down and left's opposite is right okay now let's finish this video in a quick time okay so now the last stuff this here we have d i mean a e d okay so a e d and lady opposite opposite angle is angle what c e b okay so it's c e b so now We've learned about a lot of stuff today. They are called complementary angle, supplementary angle, and vertical opposite angle, which is very new. And now, practice about this because it's too hard and this is new. And this is kind of, you know, familiar about this. Okay, so that's all for today practice about this i'll see you next time i'll see you in the next class too bye